take a look at. Um, so I'd like to share with you the top five reasons I came up with to come to the Peace Corps. Number one was to reset my life priorities. Number two was to explore my place in the world as a global citizen. Number three was to help others with one-on-one -on -one interactions. Number four was to spread the good, faith, the good face of the United States at a time when our global image is struggling. And number five is a phrase known as put up or shut up, which means, um, which reminded myself that I shouldn't complain about how things are in the world if I wasn't willing to roll up my sleeves and help out myself. These five reasons touch on not only what I can offer the people of St. Kitts and Nevis, but what they can give back to me as well. I know everyone in our class shares the sentiment that while we are here to serve over the next few years, our memories will be made by the experiences that you share with us and that we bring home to our loved ones. Over two months ago, we all arrived in the lab eager to learn about the Ketitian and Indigenous people who would, be work who would be working with side by side with over the next two years. Seven weeks later, all of my fellow new volunteers are in agreement that the introduction to the society we have received over the past few months has been a great success and has only made us hungry for more. We know that this success is real by the countless community leaders who have said they are willing and eager to help us, by the smiles and greetings we receive from our new communities as we walk around them, by the countless rides we are offered by caring citizens who pass us on the streets, by the kind words we hear from the church patrons who greet us after service, and by the faces that light up when we say we are here from the United States Peace Corps. Nearly five weeks ago, I went into a fifth grade, fifth grade classroom at Dr. William Connor Primary, where I'm assigned, assigned for my internship and where I'll be helping with the reading program. I was introduced to the class as a Peace Corps worker, and the teacher asked if anyone knew what that meant. A few hands shot up from the students, and the first little boy answered, He's a Peace Corps. <laughs> The little girl raised her hand and said, well, he's a kind man. Teacher. The third young boy raised his hand and answered, I believe he's here to help us. I know I speak for all of us when I say that we will have made our country very proud if in two years we can all look in the mirror and say we've been peaceful, kind, and helpful men and women to our brothers and sisters in St. Louis. So thank all of you. I thank all of you for this opportunity from all of our class.